This is edition 3 of FAD Weekly. If you like what you see, then please subscribe, like us, and spread the word and the link. Now to the USA and to Amy Devers. What is it in the water up here? At the heart of the Pacific Northwest is a city that manages to draw together hot technology, the great outdoors, and an effortless style that is distinctly its own. An unlikely mix between frontier spirit, technology, and youth culture has FAD Weekly's trend antenna twitching. I'm at the global HQ of fashion label CMRTYZ to investigate. CMRTYZ is me and another friend, Carlos, and his initials are CMR, and my name is Ty, and my last name is Siska, so it's basically just letters from our names squished together. We do artwork for bands and record labels, and a lot of freelance design for clothing companies and businesses who want identity work done. We also do fashion. We do a lot of screen printing for band t-shirts and all that kind of stuff. And uh, then the other wing is that kind of mixes with that is we have a record label. We're really grassroots with everything we do. We don't have the fanciest equipment. You know, we started doing everything out of my apartment with like the most primitive ways of printing. We just kind of went with that. You know, this is what we have and this is what we're making. Nothing's going to be the same and that's going to be the beauty of it. We don't have any back stock of anything. If the store emails us and they want something, we make that order and we don't make any more. We make the exact number that they ordered. And if somebody emails us from Japan and they just want one thing, I have to get everything out and I make that one thing. Seattle is extremely collaborative. Everybody is really nice. It's If, if you're throwing a show and you don't have a PA for the bands, you can call somebody and they'll be there in like 10 minutes to help you out. Like, you can borrow gear from each other. Nobody, it's, it's very unpretentious. Like, I love New York, I love Los Angeles, but I've worked there and it's not like it is here. So you're the TYZ of CMR TYZ. Tell me about CMR. Uh, Carlos is actually the other half of our business and he is the graphic designer. His process is Exactly. He goes to the copy machine and sits there for hours and does process after process, does a copy, inverts it, draws on it, scribbles, inverts it again, cuts, it's, it's collage mixed with sketching like they did it, you know, the old punk rock posters and stuff. So surprisingly, our fashion focus has now taken on a graphic twist and sent us cross country in search of Seattle's creative exports and CMR. I have a bit of a shtick because I don't have use any computers in any of the design I do. Um, just all Xerox machines and like glue sticks and Sharpies. And it's not just Carlos who's taken the Seattle handmade style east. This is called Moves. It's a store that people from Seattle that I know through many mutual friends uh, Ruby Hearts Little Snotty uh, runs, and it's just a really, really great like place where you know there are fellow like creatives that I really respect and think that they're really, really great. So um, yeah, this is their space, and I'm in since being in New York, I've been talking with them to hang some really cool artwork. CMR TYZ, music, graphics, fashion. It's the holy trinity of trends, and when it all comes together, you have something that can start small and ripple around the world. And now, as part of FAD Destination Seattle, some suggestions on how to enjoy the creative side of the city. Somewhere stylish to stay is a start, and the downtown Hotel Andra has my approval. It's as comfortable as it is sophisticated and outfitted with original Scandinavian designs. It has an authenticity that's in sync with Seattle. An accessible art attraction is the Olympic Sculpture Park, which transformed a nine-acre industrial site into an open and vibrant green space for art. And if architecture is your thing, of course you'll pay a visit to the Rem Cool House Seattle Public Library. Cool House design was somewhat inspired by the notion that the entire contents of this vast library can be stored on a single computer chip. And as we ponder that reality, it's time for us to tell you what's coming up on FAD Weekly. Next week, we shift way south to Sydney and an interview with two-time Oscar award-winning production designer Catherine Martin. 
Who else but Leland Chin to talk with a designer who encourages bold choices? This is FAD Weekly, the very best in global fashion, art, and design.